Hey guys and welcome back to round 17 of season 2 of our F1 2011 career mode and this is the crucial one. This is the first real attempt at winning the championship on this game. We had the slightest of chances last race to win it but we had to have everything go our way and of course not everything went our way. We didn't even win the race. I think who won, who won it? I think it's Fernando Alonso in the end who won at the Korean Grand Prix last time out. Today though we head to India. The Indian Grand Prix at the circuit that I could not remember the name of and I remember in season one, we had a really strong race here. Had a lot of pace. I think at one point we actually led the race. And we were driving for Marusha Virgin Racing back then. So it was a shock that we were leading and we scored some points. It was one of three points finishes last year. And all we need to do today, if we win the race, we win the championship, essentially. If we outscore any of Weber, Hamilton, Alonso, we win the championship. For them to stay within the championship fight with two races to go after today... Uh, Weber will have to outscore me by nine points. Hamilton will have to... Actually, I'll just show you the standings. So yeah, Weber today has to outscore me by nine points. Hamilton then has to outscore me by 13 points. And Alonso would have to outscore me by 21 points. Felipe Massa can't win the championship. Uh, I'll just let you know what position and when we're in that position, whether we're actually going to win the championship. By the end of this episode, you'll know whether I am world champion or not. The Constructors' Championship, it's ridiculously close. 290 points for McLaren. Uh, this is a typo on screen. It's 283 points for Ferrari. Williams still got a chance of it. And Red Bull just hanging on by a thread. Um, and nobody can win the Constructors' Championship today. It's just the Drivers' Championship on the... Uh, on the precipice of victory today make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and let's jump in to the indian grand prix and as always it starts here in qualifying one the buddha international circuit that is the name of the track and i really do enjoy this track it's it's up there with one of my favorites on the calendar maybe it's because i'm not used to the circuit you know if it's a circuit it's a new it's quite new to you it, it usually is quite interesting because i had the same feeling about sochi in 2014 when that came onto the calendar i enjoyed that for a while and now i look back on it and think what what's wrong with me that's a terrible circuit about to start my first lap it's uh pretty much past halfway through the session now so we're the only driver yet to set a time and i've got straight off the track at turn one it's a fantastic start to this session the ai are just really slow at this track so this might be quite easy even with my mistake Oh, to be fair, it's only 17. We will do another lap. I broke way too late there. Way too late. We just went purple through the first sector, but then I missed my braking zone. Oh, Massa, what are you doing, mate? Pick a side, stick to it. Up to 15. It wasn't much better. We need to go for a third lap here. This might be my last attempt. I don't know if we actually need this final lap, but it's a much cleaner lap. And just for experience sake, we needed it. Ninth place, that'll do. A fair bit to unpack after that first qualifying session. I was expecting to be much closer to the top. I'm a second off uh, Mark Webber's fastest time, which is not good. Mark Webber being fastest. Uh, there's lots to come in Q2 and Q3, of course. Uh, the driver's knocked out. Adrian Sutil knocked out. So my teammate Rubens Barrichello at least gets through to qualifying two. Here we are in Q2. Time to deliver the lap time we need. Let's go. Left it all on the line on that lap. I think it should be good enough. It's not. It's 12th. Okay, I, I was not stressing about this qualifying session at all. This was the one session this season I thought we'd blitz pole position. I don't remember what time I got last year here in qualifying. I might need to go back and uh, look at the video. But it's got to be slower than what I'm doing right now. Oh my god. I'm pushing as hard as I possibly can because I think I'm losing all the time in the second and third sectors. Is it enough? Have we done enough? That's got to be a better lap. Ninth place. It's ninth place. We're just going to hope it's good enough. My confidence has suddenly dropped a substantial amount. We're, we've only just got through to Q3. Massa setting the pace. Webb is fifth. My other rivals, Hamilton third. Alonso gets through in sixth as well. Uh, my teammate Barrichello is miles slower than me. Right, Q3. We'll give it one big push at the end of the session. Let's see if we can get pole position. Button has set a 23-3 as provisional pole. Alonso's in second with a 23-4. And what did we get in that last session? 24 point something? 
Right, let's go for it. Around the final corner we go. Purple first sector. Average second sector. And we're eighth place overall. We'll give it one more flying lap. Purple through the first two sectors this time around. It's looking better. Just one corner to go. Have we done enough? Can we get pole position here for the Indian Grand Prix? But no, we can't. We're nowhere near. It's the last sector I'm losing so much time in. So it's eighth place. Button on pole. Alonso second. Mark Webber only seventh. And Hamilton starting from third. So none of my championship rivals uh, starting on pole position. Good lap there by Jensen Button. Uh, Filippo Massa rounding out the top 10. And we're going to start from eighth place. This could be the day I win the championship. Let's see what happens. No chance of rain. And the grandstands are not full at all. No, nobody's there. Uh, yeah. I think more people are going to watch this video than there are in the grandstands in the background there. Uh, but we are starting on the option tyres. And it's only a two-stop strategy. That's very rare to see on this game. A two-stop strategy. Option prime, prime. 30 lap race. I had a dream last night. I had no idea 50% of this race was 30 laps, by the way. But I had a dream last night I was doing a 25% race. And it was 15 laps. And I won the championship at the Indian Grand Prix. So let's make those dreams a reality. Well, there's only one more thing to do, and that's go racing. The 2011 Indian Grand Prix is next. Oh my gosh, the sunlight beaming down on top of my Williams car as the lights appear in front of me. Three, four, and five. The moment of truth, the Indian Grand Prix is underway. It's a pretty good start. There's Weber on my left-hand side. That's the driver we're going to be watching very closely into turn one. And he's looking to the inside of his teammate, Sebastian Vettel, who's not had the greatest of starts. But he's boxed in behind Hamilton. And we're going to get a run on Weber up towards turn three we go on the inside of Weber. Oh, he's hit me. Weber's just absolutely forced his way back up the inside. He's lost half his front wing, though. And down the long back straight we go. The two Red Bulls side by side with each other. Vettel on the left. Weber on the right. And where do I go with my Williams car? We could make it three wide with James Early on the inside. Weber really trying to squeeze his teammate into the braking zone. And they both hold on to the positions ahead of me. There's Heidfeld on my outside. The German trying his chances round the outside of that corner. But he's not going to make it up. And we remain in eighth place. There are going to be opportunities in this race. And I think we've already got an opportunity here. Vettel not looking the quickest right now. He's gone defensive. It's only lap two. Uh, DRS not enabled yet, but I'm going to dump all the curves down this back straight. See if we can get close to the Red Bull driver. The driver who's not had the fortune he has had in real life in my Codemasters series, that's for sure. Mark Webber's been the main Red Bull challenger. Uh, so we're not really closing as we slam on the brakes. Got really close to the back of Vettel there. I thought I was going to lose my front wing. But everything's okay. Reminder, Webber needs to outscore me by... 8 points. Hamilton needs to outscore me by 12. And Alonso has to outscore me by 21 points. For them to stay in the title fight. I just send it here. Under braking into this right hander. Kind of, oh, somebody's hit somebody else. Obviously. I think Petrov's got damage. And we've made up a position. I have a run here on Weber to the inside of the Australian. As we head into sector 3. Almost contact between me and the Red Bull for the second race running. He is... Giving me that space on the outside. It was the inside. Now it's the outside. And now he's uh, decided to not give me any space. My favoured overtaking place is on the exit of turn one. Around that turn two. And up into the turn three hairpin. I'm going to send it on. Oh my god. Both of them. Oh no. That didn't work, did it? That did not work at all. I thought it was too good to be true. I outbroke one of them. Being Weber. Then I outbroke the second one being Hamilton. I do have DRS to stay ahead of Heidfeld. Uh, but I just went too deep into the corner. Petrov is holding both Hamilton and Weber up right now. So uh, thank you, Petrov, for doing your job. That's just what Vitaly Petrov does. And Vettel has just got past Mark Weber as well. So that's even better for me. Breaking deep into turn one to try and get a run on Weber, who is almost losing the back end of the car on the exit of turn one. He's really feeling the pressure. We'll go to the outside for turn three. On the Australian, who just about leaves me a width on the exit. And now it's a DRS race down towards the next corner. I'm dumping all the Kurz battery as well. Weber going ultra defensive. 
I'll pick the outside line for the next breaking zone if he's going to leave me the space, which he is not going to do. We'll switch to the inside instead and send it up the inside under breaking. Avoiding locking all the tyres in upper position. Seventh place. Brilliant overtake. What the hell is he doing? V Vettel just... What was that? Right, okay. We've got slight damage to the front wing. We're boxing this lap anyway. Just need to stay ahead of Mark Webber. Got the run out the corner. Onto the back straight. We overtook his teammate on the previous lap down here. We are using as much slipstream as I possibly can, but it's not going to be enough to get past Sebastian Vettel unless I dart to the inside, just like I did on his teammate. And I think Vettel just saw, about, saw it coming, and he's held on to it. I think the race leader, Fernando Alonso, also into the pits. So is Hamilton. So is Vettel as well. So it'll be a race in the pit lane, although we are... Oh! I may have just murdered Sebastian Vettel. I've got it on auto pit speed, so it slows me down automatically, so I just go full speed into the pits. I did not think that they would slow down. Go, go now. I'm still in the race, though, so that's fine. I will rejoin right behind my teammate. Still in the points in 10th place. Oh, that's funny. That is so funny. I thought it was my tyre which came off my car, but it was Sebastian Vettel's tyre. So he retired in the pit lane. And there's my teammate into the pits. So we'll move up to ninth. Weber leads the race. He's yet to pit. Surely he's not on a one stop. Maybe he's on just a different strategy. There's Heidfeld all over the place on the exit of turn one. I'm going to go to the outside. My God. Outside for turn three. I don't think he saw me there. Almost ran into me. But we've made that place up. That's the fastest lap of the race from me there. Got the bit between my teeth right now. Hamilton versus Rosberg up ahead for sixth place. That's a battle we we'll, uh, get familiar with when they both join Mercedes. Well, when they're both at Mercedes, of course. And Hamilton's lifting off down the main straight. Oh, oh no. We're still alive. It's fine. Webber's just rejoined from his pit. My God, what's wrong with me? Webber's just rejoined from his pit stop. And he's right behind me in seventh place. If it stays like this, I win the championship. That's absolutely fine with me. Even if uh, Alonso wins the race, he'd need me to finish, I think, 8th or lower. And right now we're 6th. Got another good run on Hamilton here towards turn 1 we go. He, he's going defensive again, so I'll pick the outside line and break nice and deep into the corner. See if we get a little switch back, which I think I've done, kind of. I just need to outbreak the British driver into turn 3, which is what we've done. I'm not going to give him any space on the exit of the corner. We've taken the position. Now, Rosberg next up. I'll just send it. Why not? Okay, never mind. I didn't. Completely lied. What's he doing? Breaking so early into the final corner. Almost gave me a run around the outside. I just couldn't carry the car around there. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful switchback. And that's another position up into fourth place. Petrov right now in the podium places. And I've got DRS on the Lotus Renault ahead. And the Russian driver thinking about a defence. And then moves back to the outside of the circuit. So I'll go up the inside. Under braking we go. And that's yet another place, is it? He's trying to fight it. But eventually he has to succumb to the power of James Early. Don't know why I took both hands off the wheel to tell you that. Yet another fastest lap. I think we can win this now. We've, we've built into this race. Qualifying was... What the hell's going on here as well? All the back markers just congregating at one point of the circuit. And uh, Button and Alonso are both lapping them now. And I'm going to do the same. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lielce, for just blocking me. It felt like that was on purpose. Oh, dear. Suttles just rear-ended Karthikeyan. Not at his home Grand Prix. Not Suttles' home Grand Prix. Karthikeyan's home Grand Prix. Nice to see Michael Schumacher racing at his level in 2011. 17th place, battling Jerome D'Ambrosio. <laughs> I can see the top two drivers right in front of me as we're into the second half of this race. I think we're boxing in a couple of laps of time, maybe lap 19. And now Alonso under huge pressure from Jensen Button. These two drivers... Uh, I know Alonso did not start in second place, did he? I can't remember. I know Jensen Button was on pole position, of course. And uh, we are boxing at the end of this lap, lap 18. I'll be more cautious into the pits this time. I don't want to don't want to rear end Fernando Alonso, my championship rival. As Jensen Button stays out. 
And we box from third place. And we're going to rejoin here in fifth place. Oh, we are gaining big time with DRS on Alonso. And this might be an opportunity to send it into the next quarter. Oh, he broke really late and held on to the position. There we go. We've got a run. We've got a really good run. Oh, my God. He slammed on the brakes. And there's Jensen Button rejoining. Where am I supposed to go? Apparently, I'm supposed to stay behind them. Bloody hell, what is going on here? Jensen Button's just getting the heat into his tyres. He's just rejoined the circuit, of course. Uh, so, Alonso up to second. Button third. I'm fourth. Got a great run here on Jensen, though. And we'll pick the outside line. It should be a nice, easy move into the braking zone of turn four. And it is. A reminder, if I finish here, I win the championship. Easily. Time for the next instalment of Alonso versus early in this race. As we close with DRS and move to the inside. Setting a purple sector one in the meantime as well. And taking the position. Can you believe it? It's Mark Webber in the lead of the race. He's got to pit again, I'm pretty certain. Um, and if it stays like this... I'd still win the championship. He needs to outscore me by, I think, eight points. And right now, he'd be outscoring me by seven. Maybe Weber's not boxing. It's like 23 out of 30, and he's still in the lead. Uh, but if he stays out anyway, I think we'll overtake him because we're much quicker. I don't even have DRS, but look how close I am to him. I'll go to the outside for turn four as we're maxing out on the speed. And we slam on the brakes, and he's squeezing me onto the curb on the outside. Once again, the Australian on the absolute limit when it comes to wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles. I assume he's trying to force me into a mistake. He knows that if he wins this race and I somehow crash out, uh, then he's actually got a decent chance at the championship. I'm setting him up brilliantly for an overtake into turn one. Sold him the dummy into that final corner. And now towards turn one we go. Breaking deep into the corner to take the position. Can I stay on the track? I can! He's not giving me the space, though. And just like in Korea, Weber is being quite rude with it all. And he's got DRS. How has he got DRS? Well, I must have been ahead going into turn one then. And he's got DRS, but I've still got the slipstream on him. And I dumped all the curves down the back straight yet again. And I'm feeling a little dive bomb is in order. If we can pull it off. We've got to slow down. We've got the car turned in. But he's held on to the place. Look how slow he is off that corner. We've got the inside line and we've got the position. And into the lead we go with six laps to go. I've just noticed we're minus one lap on fuel. So I put it into lean mode. Hopefully we save enough. We're lapping Adrian Suttle for the second time. As we've got Kurz offline. It's not too big of an issue. We've got five laps to go including the one we're on. We're back online with Kurz. Great news. The best news of the day. Apart from the fact that I'm about to be world champion. Just two laps to go until we're crowned world champion. Just about got enough fuel to make it to the end as we start the final lap of this race. I don't know what's happened. Weber and Alonso have disappeared from the podium places. I haven't looked at the... Oh god, what the hell's Buemi doing? So Button's in second and Rosberg is now in third. And as we approach this final corner for the final time, we're going to exit the corner to cross the line and win the 2011 championship. We've done it. And we've done it with two races to spare. James Early, world champion again. For the first time since our 2009 playthrough. Of course, we did not win the championship on 2010, but we've done it on 2011. Button and Rosberg complete the podium. Petrov in fourth. Hamilton can never get past him. Weber and Alonso must have had a coming together. To finish 6th and 8th. Heidfeld in between those two. It was ninth place for De Resta and Perez scoring a point as well. Masson not even in the points. Even though he started in the top 10. My teammate Barrichello 13th. Schumacher a lap down in 16th place. We had one DNF and it was Sebastian Vettel. Oh, I wonder how he retired from this race. I have absolutely no idea. And that, that's not Pastor Maldonado. That is James Early celebrating. He looks a lot like Maldonado, but ignore that. He's celebrating a championship here in India. 2011 world champion James Early. Can't believe we've done it. 75 points the gap between me in first and Weber in second. There's only 50 points left on offer. So we've won the championship. Happy, happy days.
Uh, Weber and Hamilton and Alonso really still vying over that second place in the championship. Uh, Felipe Massa and Jensen Button just a touch behind them now. Button's been scoring quite a lot as of late, I believe. And that means McLaren lead quite comfortably now ahead of Williams who have jumped up above Ferrari and Red Bull not scoring great today. And their hopes of a Constructors' Championship slowly slipping away. We've done it. We are world champion. Thank you ever so much for watching these videos and supporting the channel. I'm very happy now because I've won against computer created drivers. Computer drivers. AI. I've won against AI. James Early wins against AI is the title. That's it. We've overcome AI and I've won. Uh, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll finish the season, of course, but for the last two races, we're going to do last two whatever challenge. So we won't do qualifying. We'll just start last. Maybe it'll make it more exciting. And then we'll be back for 2012. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye.